Hi guys, it's Ewan from Everything Paddle and as you can see I'm surrounded by the Knox Paddle Rackets from 2022. I'm going to be going through the best models today, reviewing each one, getting on court and testing them as well. Knox are one of the largest paddle brands in the entire world. Started in 2009, they quickly became titans in the paddle industry, sponsoring some of the greatest players to ever play the game, such as Augustin Tapia and Miguel Lamperty. Knox uses over 11 different technologies in the rackets I'm using today, so I want to quickly go over them all to help you understand the differences when I refer to them throughout the video. First is the technologies used on the frame of the racket. Knox uses AVS, carbon frame and DCS. AVS is anti-vibration system. This reduces vibrations to your arm, making the bat feel more comfortable. Carbon frame makes the racket stronger and more rigid. And DCS is dynamic composite structure. Basically, it reduces the chances of fibers at the top cutting. Secondly is the technologies used in the racket's face. Some rackets use 18K carbon, 12K carbon and 3K fiberglass. 18K carbon is the strongest, hardest, most powerful material used. 12K carbon is still really strong, but a little bit softer than 18K. And finally, 3K fiberglass is much softer and more comfortable. Thirdly is the technologies used in the core of the rackets. Some rackets today use the multi-layered black EVA core and some use the HR3 core. The multi-layered is essentially multiple layers of material to give you the fastest ball speed possible and the HR3 core is also a very high memory core which gives you good power and fast ball speed. Finally, there is a technology called Smart Strap System. Here is me demonstrating it. Basically, it just means that you can, you can change the strap that goes around your wrist and it's really easy to do. So when you receive it, it'll come like this. You can see there's nothing on the end here. And then I've got this one. So basically, you simply just loop it over uh, like so. And then you take the strap and then put it through this little hole that you've created. And then it will create that knot and then you've got, you've got your smart strap. So then you can replace this. If this breaks, then I can replace that. It's just another really cool feature that I love from Knox. Now that is all out of the way, let's get onto the rackets. Remember to subscribe if you're finding any of this useful. All right, up first, we have the most powerful racket from Knox, the Knox Novo World Paddle Tour Racket. This one looks unbelievable. It's got the 18K carbon. It's got the multi-layered Black Eva core, anti-vibration system, carbon frame, and a rough surface as well. Let's talk about the basic properties though. So it's a diamond shape with a high sweet spot and high balance. You're gonna to get tons of power. I think this is probably best for like smashing, aggressive shots, hard volleys, playing really fast. Knox have said about how fast the ball speed you can expect off the face of this racket. I tested volleys with the Nurbo and due to the material shape, balance and rough surface, you get ultimate power and spin on the ball. When you get a good connection on the volley with slice, the ball just will not come back. Up next is the Knox Tempo World Paddle Tour. This actually won best paddle racket for design in my best paddle rackets 2022. Uh, this one is a teardrop shape and it's more of a mix of control and power. So Knox have said it's 9.5 power out of 10, 9.5 control out of 10. Again, it has the same technology. So carbon frame, this one has multi-layer black Eva core. It has 12K carbon, so that's a little bit softer than the Nurbo. So obviously give you a bit more comfort rather than the all out power, but it also has the anti-vibration system and the rough surface as well. So this one's probably a little bit more better for a more balanced game. You want in that combination of bandekas, ground strokes from the back of the court and having that mix of control and power in your game. The tempo looks so good on court and it feels great as well. You definitely notice a softer feeling, so it's much better for a slightly more defensive game. Easy to put the ball exactly where you want it. Next up is the Knox 8010 18K Genius Paddle Racket. This is the one that Augustin Tapia uses in the World Paddle Tour. And you notice that the grip's off. This is the racket that I am currently using in all of my tournaments and matches. I've used this for a while. I think it's really, really good. Um, so the main thing with this is the 18K carbon, carbon frame, rough surface. This has the HR3 core, so it hasn't got the multi-layered core like the Nerb and the Tempo, but it also has an anti-vibration system. It's a teardrop shape, so again, a great mix of power control. I find this so comfortable, so easy to use, and it's just so balanced for an all-round game. The 18K suits me perfectly. I love the shape, the feeling, the control, the power, spin, and design. Not as powerful as the Nerbo, of course, but for me, it has a great balance. Next up is one of the best looking Knox rackets, I think, in the entire range. This is the Knox 8010 Genius Attack. 
So this has also got 18K, just like the one we did before. However, this one's a diamond shape with this high sweet spot and high balance. So it's much more attacking than the one before. The one before is probably sort of a mix of control and power, where this is more all out power. Has the HR3 core, carbon frame, anti-vibration system, and a rough surface as well. So again, I think this is great for your smashes. You might be wondering what the difference between this and the Nurbo one was, because that was also diamond and had the 18K carbon. The only difference is the core. So the Nurbo has the multi-layered core, which is like all out for fast ball speed and power. This has the HR3 core, which is a little bit softer. The Attack 18K looks so cool and I tested aggressive volleys with it. I like it because it literally feels like a more powerful version of the 18K. The ball just flies off the racket. Up next is the Nox ML10 Bahia racket. This one looks awesome as well. Um, it's got a rough surface on this one, however, it's not really sandpaper, it's kind of like raised little honeycomb bumps. It's, it's a bit different to that, um, but it still has that 3D texture technology to help you get more spin and slice on the ball. Teardrop shape, so um, again, great mix for control and power. Nox again have said 9.5 power, 9.5 control. Anti-vibration system, carbon frame, uh, a HR3 core, and 12K carbon as well. So again, a very luxury, strong racket. Again, you might be thinking, what's the difference between this and the Tempo? Again, the difference is not having the multi-layered core, so it doesn't quite have as fast ball speed as that Tempo does, but it's still an amazing racket, very high level, and it's really nice to play with on court. I wanted to test ground strokes and volleys with the Bahia to see how it felt in a balanced game. It's great for players who want a nice balance and want to play consistent and solid, ready to attack at any moment or play slow and controlled. Okay, next up is the Nox ML10 Pro Cup Luxury Edition. So, the Nox Pro Cup for starters is one of my best selling rackets ever, Everything Paddle, and also Nox is best selling. It's been in the range for years, they've always kept it on because of how popular it is. And this year, they released a luxury version of it. So uh, it comes with a rough surface and in that sort of classic white, black and red design, which looks amazing. And it also has the anti-vibration system. Um, so it's like a level up from the, from the normal Pro Cup, but it still keeps that fiberglass face, that lovely soft feel that everyone loves about the Pro Cup. So um, I'd, say, I'd say usually the Pro Cup is for sort of intermediate and advanced players. However, this one is probably all out for those advanced players that want them. So those perfect feelings on court and want to use the Pro Cup, which is like an iconic racket in, in Knox's history. One more point on this, on this Pro Cup. This is the Miguel Lamperty racket. So Knox had the four players. They've got Tapia, Lamperty, Majo Sanchez and Mappy Sanchez. Lamperty is using this racket. So it's the same racket that he uses in the World Paddle Tour. Next up is the Nox MP10. This is another pro level racket used by the pro player Mappy Sanchez. Uh, nice soft feeling on this one because it uses the 3K fiber on the surface rather than 12K carbon or 18K carbon. So lots of comfort on this one. It feels really good to hit, but it also has the carbon frame and a dynamic composite structure for high durability anti-vibration system as well and of course comes with that nice rough surface. Properties of the racket are that it's round with a big sweet spot in the middle um, so it's sort of high control, high comfort. I'd go 10 out of 10 control and 9 out of 10 power on this one. Um, so if you're looking for something a bit easy to use and still want to use an advanced high level racket then this is great for that. The MP10 felt really good for control and comfort. If you like a tactical game where you break down your opponent slowly with clever shots that drop in with high amounts of spin then this is for you. Okay, this is the MJ10, the older sister of the MP10, because this is Majo Sanchez's racket. So some of the best players in the world here, but this is much more attacking base. So as you can see, it's a diamond shape with a higher sweet spot and higher balance. Uh, 12K carbon, which is obviously a lot stronger and more powerful. Carbon frame, anti-vibration system, rough surface as well, and it has the multi-layered black EVA core, just like the World Paddle Tour racket. So having sort of multiple layers of carbon to give you extra fast ball speed. So this one's a much more attacking racket. I can feel it's a bit more head heavy, so better for, you know, the smashes, aggressive shots. You could say that the player traditionally on the left uses this one on the attacking side, and the player on the right uses the MP10 on the more sort of defensive side. The MJ10 feels similar to the Nurbo in terms of power and ball speed, just a little bit softer. So if you want all of that power, but want a bit more comfort as well, the MJ10 is top for that. Right, we've got the Pro Cup White, Pro Cup Black, and Pro Cup Rough. 
So these are, um, I mentioned the Pro Cup earlier, that was the luxury version. These are the normal versions. They come in white, black, and rough surface edition. Uh, they look amazing. Obviously, this is the classic one. This is the classic ML10 that everyone loves. They brought it out in a black edition, and they made a rough surface edition as well. So round shape, soft feeling, ultimate comfort. This is one of our best-selling rackets. Nice fiberglass surface, which is really soft and comfortable. People just find it so easy to use. I've often in the past used this when I'm coaching, just because it's really easy, and then use the more sort of aggressive racket in maybe a tournament. But if you just want to have fun on court, you want to use something nice and easy to use, this is perfect. The black edition is the same. It just comes in a black one, so maybe some more guys will like this one. I know a few guys preferred the black edition. And then finally, for the people that love the rough surface, the rough surface edition as well. So if you like to feel that sandpaper surface, then this one's even better. I tested all the Pro Cups in different situations on the court, and I'm telling you now, you cannot go wrong with this racket because it just feels so good in the hand and nice for all areas of play. Definitely not as powerful as the other rackets in the range, but in terms of comfort, it's a winner. Okay, another thing about Knox that I think makes them one of the best brands out there is the different bags that the rackets come in. So at the beginner and early intermediate levels, and intermediate levels actually, uh, the rackets come in this bag. So that's great, drawstring bag, keeps the racket protected. I think you need a bag with your racket to keep it protected and keep the longevity of it. Then at sort of the high and advanced level, so like the 18K, uh, the Bahia, the Pro Cup Luxury, you get this case. Again, really, really good. Um, that, that's obviously a, a higher level because it fits in perfectly. And then at the Knox Nurbo and Tempo rackets, you get this case. You get this really like nice luxury leather case. And this is gonna, like you could put your racket here and just drop, drop it and it'd be absolutely fine because it really protects it. So again, another thing that adds that sort of luxury at the high end. Um, and another incentive to, to want in to get the high-end rackets. Thank you for watching, guys. I hope you did enjoy. Please check out all of these rackets. I've left links to all of them in the description. And remember to subscribe to Everything Paddle. Thanks.